Hey everybody, welcome in. Prophetess Nikki here. I pray that your day is well. I pray, family, that everything is going absolutely amazing for each and every one of you today. I pray that God's face will always shine upon all of you. May God keep you. May God prosper you. May God bless you in every single area of your life because God is going to do nothing less than that. Thank everybody for what you do daily to help bring glory to God's channel. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to like and share our videos so that we can continue to reach more hurting and broken people for the glory of God. I am praying for you, family. I love all of you so, so, so very much. You may be going through an all-out season of assault. You may be going through a season of all-out assault. Because you are doing a good work for God. You are on hell's hit list. But when God has called you to something, when God has called you to do something, there is nothing that is going to stop that from coming to pass. To every sin ballot in your life, to every Tobiah in your life, of your life today, that may be plotting, that may be tempting to lure you along with them so that they can destroy you. It is not going to happen. I want you to, to discern, family. Pray for the spirit of discernment. Make sure, make very sure that your spiritual discernment is heightened because the sand balance in your life, the Tobias in your life are wanting, they're plotting to attempt to lure you along with them so that they can take your eyes out of what you're supposed to do. They want to distract you, family and they want to destroy you, but it is not going to happen. You may be going through an all-out season of assault. You might be, but glory be to God. Because you are doing a good work for God, it is not going to happen. I want to encourage you today who are listening on the sound of my voice. I want you to stay on the wall, Nehemiah. Yes, that's right. You stay on the wall, Nehemiah. To every Nehemiah who is listening to me today. You stay on that wall. I don't care who is down, looking up at you, mocking at you, laughing at your family. You stay on that wall and you keep building. You stay focused, Nehemiah, to every Nehemiah who is listening, who is building something. That's something that you have in production. I want you to stay focused, Nehemiah, and stay on that wall and I want you to keep building. Building. I want you to keep ignoring, glory to God, the insults. And I want you to keep building what God told you to build. Keep ignoring. Don't pay attention to the insults. You keep right on building what God told you to build. Some people want to stop your production. They're trying to stop your production by the insults. They want you to take your eyes off of what? You are doing and focus on their insults, but you stay unbothered. You keep building. You keep right on building what God told you to build, family. They want to stop this from you by distracting you with their jealousy and all of the insults that they're rallying against you. They may be scoffing. They might be. They may be laughing at what you're building right now because in their grasshopper eyes, it looks like what you're doing is not about anything. It looks like in the grasshopper eyes of these people, it looks like nothing is going to come out of it, but something good. Good is going to come out of this. Something great is going to come out of this. Listen, souls of the Most High God. They're blind. People are blind to greatness until the time is fulfilled. Right now, people are blind to greatness. They are blind because whatever you're doing, they're not called to do it. They are blind to the greatness until when? Until the time is fulfilled. Your enemies will not be able to stop you. God is going to return their reproach on their own heads and God is going to expose their iniquity for their sarcastic attacks. Glory to God against the chosen of God. I'm going to say it again, family. God is going to turn your enemies' reproach on their own heads. Yes, he is. This is God's work. 
So God himself is going to get involved and God is going to return their reproach on their own heads and God is going to expose their iniquity for every sarcastic attack that they have caused against the chosen of God. God is with you and he's going to see you through despite the discouragement that you are facing right now from the mouths of your adversary. God is going to see you through. You say that. God is going to see me through. I don't care what you're going through. You say God is going to see me through because God is going to see you through. You have been legally set free, family. Did you know that? You have been legally set free. You have been redeemed. You have been redeemed from every curse under the law. Despite the discouragement you're facing from the mouths of adversaries, that are facing you. God has freed you. He has totally set you free. And as you continue to progress in your life, you always remember this. As you and I continue to progress in life, as we continue to progress in the things that God has called us to, to build, don't ever forget this. The attacks of Satan will always increase. Every time that Satan sees you increasing in your life, he's going to up the attacks in your life. So you know what you have to do? You have to put on the whole armor of God. You must put on the whole armor of God. So that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand. Put on the whole armor of God. So when the day of evil comes, because that day is going to come, you may be able to stand. And after you've done every single thing that you know how to do, you know what you're supposed to do, you keep standing. After you have done everything you know how to do, keep standing. Have you said that to yourself? I've known, I've done everything that I know how to do. What else am I to do? You are to keep standing. Standing on what? Standing on the firm foundation of our Lord and Savior. This is where you're supposed to stand. And this is how you are going to prepare for every satanic attack. This is how you're going to prepare and you are going to defeat every satanic attack all spiritual warfare. This is how you are going to prepare for it. And this is how you are going to defeat it. How you're going to defeat it? By putting on the whole armor of God. So when the day of evil comes, you are going to be able to stand. And when you've done everything that you know how to do, you still stand. The enemy is relentless. Hell is relentless. Hell is wise. Satan is wise. Family, we must be wiser than him. We must be wiser than him. Glory to God. And we must be relentless. I don't care what all out of song that hell has brought against your good work that you are doing. You keep building. You keep building. Let send ballot to your bill. Let Tobiah. Every Tobiah of your life, every Sam Ballot of your life, every Geshem of your life, you let them see you build and you keep ignoring their insults. You keep ignoring family, their sarcasm, because it's about nothing. They are trying to plot and attempt to lure you along with them so that they can destroy you. But it is not going to happen. Every weapon that will ever form against you will never prosper. That weapon may form, but it shall not prosper. We return every evil thing back to those who have sent it. It will not take root. It will not bear fruit in the lives of a believer. No matter what they say, no matter what hell sins, it will not take root in your life. Nor will it bear fruit. In the lives of the chosen. Do you hear me, souls of God? So allow them. You keep building. You stay focused. You keep ignoring these insults, family of God. And you keep your spirit of discernment on. Gotta go, family. I love you. I wanted to drop in and let you know that. And to be encouraged. 
I love you. Don't you get scammed on this channel. If you see my picture icon in the comment section, I am not reaching out to anybody. Do not engage. Please delete the notifications and the replies. Nobody is reaching out from you from my company here, Family of God, by email, by telegram. No, do not allow somebody to impose upon you and whatever you may be going through, family. I love you. Don't forget to share the videos, family. Thank you for supporting our channel. Until next time, we are going to talk later. Stay guarded, family. God bless you. Bye-bye.